Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be covering a new ETF that just came out. It is from Defiance Investments. So they're the same guys that do the in the money puts on the Q's, Spy, and the Russell. This one, they're actually doing a, a high yield ETF on oil. So this ETF is based off of the United States Oil Fund, which basically just tracks crude oil. And what they're going to be doing, they're not doing covered calls on this one. As you can see, it says they're aiming to generate income from at the money or in the money put selling. So we're going to take a look at the options chain on USO there. See if it's you know, more volatile than SPY or, or the Qs and see what kind of money these guys can pull in. But yeah, USO, which is the underlying, they don't actually hold it, but uh, you know how SPY has options every single day. USO only has them about twice a week. So here it says at least once a week, they're aiming to make trades. And in their first trade, it actually did look pretty good. It looks like USO or uh, the ticker on this one is USOY is going to have a pretty good yield. So looking at the net assets, they're obviously pretty new. So this is mostly just seed money right here. And the expense ratio is 0.99%. I believe that is the same as the index ones over here as well. So the Qs are obviously really good, yielding 66%. Uh, as we can see, yeah, the expense ratio is 0.99% on these ones as well. I'm going to do another video checking these ones out, see how they compare to, you know, the different index yielding covered call strategies out there. I do really like Spy T. I made a video on Spy T when it dropped, and yeah, that one's looking pretty good. But let's get back to you, Soy. So I could not get their intraday trades but I found them pretty easily through my broker. Basically, their holdings is just a bunch of bonds, as you can see. And then they have that one option on USO, which is a $77 put expiring May 15th. So that is tomorrow. And their first distribution will be actually in July. So we are not getting one at the end of May. So that one should actually be extra big, but we'll check this out. Um, let's take a look at how USO is doing. All right, so here's the price of USO. So we're up 14% for the year. And guys, oil is nothing like stocks, okay? OPEC, if you guys know OPEC, or if you guys don't know OPEC, it's basically a group of the biggest oil producers in the world. It's kind of like an, an alliance and they each put caps on each of the countries of how much oil they can supply each day or each month. So oil price is kind of fixed and plus demand for oil is very inelastic. If you guys take in economics, you know, as we know, there is no substitutes for driving your car to work. Like you have to buy gas and unless you have a electric car you pretty much are going to buy gas no matter if it goes up a dollar tomorrow you know goes up two dollars you're still going to buy the gas so oil is nothing like stocks that's why this etf is so unique so obviously we're looking at it up 14 percent. that's no good really affects inflation but if we look at the five days here we want to see where it traded on Friday because that's where when the fund was made here. So if we go to 930, all right, so is that 7677? Now let's take a look at what they sold those options for because these are in the money puts, guys. So a put, we obviously know, okay, so they sold a $77 put. That means that puts in the money because we're basically saying we're going to buy shares of this for $77. So that put is in the money right now. So I'm hoping they got a good price. We'll check out the price that they sold it for. 
All right, so you know me. I really like to predict the yields before they're even out. So I, I took a look at the trades for the $77 put, and I actually found Defiance's trade right here. So it looks like they sold it for $1.22, and we know this is correct because the volume is $325. If you look at the holdings on the website, it is $325 there. So that means... This contract's intrinsic worth is 23 cents. The extrinsic is what they've been paying out, you know, with QQQY, the SPY, or I think it's called JEPI. Um, that they're paying all the intrinsic out. That's why their dividend yields are massive. Okay. If it was a normal covered call strategy on the on SPY, it'd only be yielding about like 16%. But that's why the yield is so high. It's because they're paying out every cent of that intrinsic part of the option. And I know this because I, I've been watching Max too. And he pretty much nails the dividend every time. So if we take that value of the intrinsic contracts right there. So it'd be 99 cents. We times it by 100 because it's a option contract times it by the number of contracts we sold we made 32,000 in extrinsic value so if we times that by four because they said they're going to be at making at least one trade a week we get 128 now this is assuming a lot of things here i know they only made one trade so far so this is very very rough estimate okay and then we take 128,700 divided by the net assets of the fund we get 5.148%. Times that by 12, that's an annual yield of 61%. So that is that is pretty big for an oil fund. I did not think they would be yielding this much. But I want to double check this. So we are going to be taking a look at the volatilities of USO and compare them with volatilities of SPY qqq and iwm just to see if it kind of correlates with the distribution yield of jeppy and qqqy but yes this i want to be very clear here this is assuming they make this exact same type of trade every single month and even in the fun facts on the page it said they can sell puts to at least being five percent in the money so this one was very, I'd say, at the money. So they might be going more more further out next time. Okay, so here we have SPY. Usually it's about 11%, but it's 17% for tomorrow because, you know, there's a lot of Fed speeches going on. So 17% for SPY. Here's the Qs. We got 20.8%. Usually that one's a little bit higher too. Usually it's about like 25%. And then we got... The Russell here, their IV also a little bit elevated right now because GameStop is part of this one. So is MicroStrategy. They're a little bit elevated right now too, but their IV is 35%. And then USO, they are at 25%. So like I said, usually the Qs are at 25%. I don't know why they're a little bit lower. It's also because we just came out of earnings season but usually the cues yeah they're at like 25 percent. so most compared like if we had to compare it we'd probably compare it more to the nasdaq one my you know little rough estimate there was about 61 percent, and the cues are yielding 66 percent. so this could uh this could be what u s o y is going to be yielding and then obviously I just want to show the Russell one because the Russell one had the highest volatility. Look at this one yielding 100, 102%, almost 103%. And like I said, these yields are, are super high because they're paying out all the intrinsic value of their options that they're selling. So am I going to be investing in USOY? I don't know, but I'm glad there is a lot of options now. You know, now... If you want to play the volatility of oil, you can. You just buy USOY. Keep in mind, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just reviewing these ETFs, checking them out, sharing them with you guys. 
it's great that we have so many options now. This is the first ever oil option income ETF. The reason why I probably won't be getting this anytime soon, though, is because of how much power these countries have over the price of oil. It's not like stocks, guys. You know, stocks, you're looking at the company. Oil, you have to really look at the economics of the world. You got to be paying attention to OPEC. You know, there's just a lot more you got to keep track of. But at the end of the day, you really only are playing the volatility of oil as you're not actually holding it in this ETF. They're just selling puts on the oil. So you're just playing the volatility and getting paid for it. So let me know what you guys think of USOY. Are you hyped for it? Let me know. Make sure you like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later.